Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope all of you are okay and be safe and all the things. Well, I'm here for you to explain the activity that we have to complete today. Yes? In the first part, we have a reading comprehension. Yes? That is connected with the use of present continuous and present simple. Yes? So, first of all, we have to read. This information is from a blog, from a site, uh, and it is called 14 D Days Out in the UK. Yes? So, in this case, uh, it's like a game with the words 14. Yes? So, eh, la palabra teen es adolescentes, pero acá está como jugando con, con el título, eh, representando el 14, ¿sí? Sí, 14 días en el Reino Unido, es el título del blog. And here we find different things, different activities, funny things that you can do uh, when you visit the UK. Yes, here you have some uh, suggestions from different teens that have visited uh, the UK and um, they, they suggest to visit different places, yes? So, in the first part, we have to read this, this text. And then, we have to move a little more. And here we have, read for, for general ideas. Write what you can do at each attraction. Yes? And here you can find, at the aquarium, at the ghost bus tour, at the museum, and the theme park. Yes? You have to look for this information here. Yes? You have to check and complete this table. Yes, this is the first activity. Then we are going to move. Here you have to look for some details. Yes, where does Jack go on Saturday morning? What is he doing this Saturday morning? So you have to answer these four questions. Yes, here you have the space to answer. Acá tenemos el espacio para responder esas preguntas. Una vez que terminamos con esta parte, we are going to move to the grammar part. Yes? Present simple and present continuous. We have, the, in all the text, we, we are going to notice, yes, that we have sentence in present simple and in present continuous. So, we have to find out the contrast between them. Yes? Look at here. In the first part, you have to read these sentences and underline or find out. We can't underline here, but you can you can mark up in this part like this. For example, you move and say, okay, here we have go, that is the present simple, so we can mark in this way. Podemos marcarlos así, como no, el que no puede editar acá en, el, en la imagen y subrayar, la va marcando acá abajo. Después tenemos, this morning I am swimming in a different place. Uh, do you like adventure? My friends and I love horror films. We are enjoying it. I usually go shopping in the, in the city center. I usually hate museums and we are having a lot of fun. Yes, we have here different uh, sentences with simple, pa simple present, sorry, and present continuous. So you have to mark them. We have to think about the different on the uses. Yes, tenemos que pensar la diferencia en los usos. Para eso les quería compartir, tengo acá a presentation, a funny presentation. Uh, that is about the different and the contrast between them. Yes. Déjenme mostrarles un poquito esta actividad que es de un contraste entre ambas. Look at this picture. Here we have Bart Simpson. Probably all of you know him. And here he is skating and in this picture is uh, talking, yes? In a phone call. I mean, you can see both uh, images. So look at here. Bart usually... We are going to check the answer. Goes skating. But he is talking on the phone now. 
Este es el contraste que nosotros podemos ver de cuándo usamos el presente continuo y cuándo usamos el presente simple. Fíjense, la primera oración tiene usually, que es un adverbio de frecuencia, que habíamos visto que los adverbios de frecuencia eran los que nos indicaban cada cuánto hacíamos una determinada acción. Por lo tanto, nos acompañaba siempre en las oraciones de eh, el presente simple. Acá el goes lleva la S, porque habíamos charlado el otro día, que eh, son las excepciones he, she, and it. En presente simple deben ir acompañados de esta regla gramatical, eh, de agregarle ES o S al verbo, depende de cómo se escriba el verbo en sí, por eso en algunos casos es ES y en otros solo la S. Y miren, but usually goes skating. Es un hábito, ¿sí? es algo que usualmente hace, ir a, esquiar, a, a andar en skate, no a esquiar, andar en skate, yes. So, in this case, we have a routine, yes, in Bart's life. En la vida de Bart es una rutina, mientras que esto de estar hablando en el teléfono es una acción temporaria, ¿sí? es una acción que está sucediendo ahora, y eso es todo, no es que siempre habla por teléfono a la misma hora, ¿ya? Yes? Dependiendo de que sea en un trabajo y podemos ponerlo como una acción de presente simple. Acá tenemos otro ejemplo. Lisa often, again, we have a frequency adverb here, often read books, but she is playing the saxophone now. Yes, this is another option that we have here. Usualmente, eh, de vez en cuando, lee libros, ¿sí? Pero ahora está tocando el saxofón. So, this is the contrast. ¿Pueden notarlo? Uno define la rutina, el hábito, una acción que se repite, mientras que el presente continuo lo utilizo en el momento de contar acerca de una acción temporaria, ¿sí? Marge often mops the floor in the morning, but she's dancing with Omar now. Yes? Here we have another one. Bart sometimes plays football, but he's playing basketball now. Yes, this is in the moment. These are the words. Omar sometimes sleeps in the morning, but he's eating a donut now. Yes. Homer often uses a computer, but he is playing the guitar right now. Yes, this is an activity that is happening in, in this moment. This is the contrast that we have to notice. Now, look at here. Maggie has a bath every day. Yes, every day is another um, indicator that we are talking in the present, in the simple present. But she is dancing right now. Yes, here we have the contrast. Lisa writes on her diary every day. But she is riding her bike now. Yes, so here we have the Simpsons sometimes travel to the beach. Look at here the verb. Travel without S. El verbo está sin S. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de los Simpsons, de ellos, de toda la familia, ¿sí? Ya cambió el pronombre. Si tengo que re reemplazar acá los Simpsons, lo reemplazo con day. Yes, it changed. So, the Simpsons sometimes travel to the beach, but they are watching TV at home now. Esta es una acción temporaria, es lo que están haciendo ahora, yes, in this moment. Maggie always, always sleeps well at night. Siempre duerme bien en la noche. But she is crying at the moment. Hoy hay una excepción, ¿sí? Está llorando. Ese es el contraste que yo quería que vean a través de esta, de esta presentación porque... Acá tenemos que completar las reglas, ¿sí? We use the present continuous on the... Pre complete the rules with the present continuous or present simple. We have to decide. Look at here. We use the... Plin, plin, plin. 
to talk about things that are happening now. We use the plin 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 to talk about habits or routines. We use the plin 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 with like, love, and hate. Yes, so you have to complete. Ustedes pueden completar en esta parte del cuadro cuáles son las este, ideas que, que ustedes tienen de acuerdo a estas reglas y después de lo que les explique. I'm going to erase this part so that it is not confusing. And then, well, we have the tables here, yes, for you to, to know how to form it, yes. Um, we have present simple, affirmative and negative. ¿Cómo armamos el presente simple en afirmativo y negativo? Yes, no questions, short answers, yes. And the present continuous in affirmative and negative, then in yes, no questions, and then in short answers, yes. You have to take a look to this to complete. And the last exercise, I know this is not the last one, but it, this is very important also. You have to classify these expressions. Yes, here we have a list. Sometimes, every day, today, now, often, yes. You have to put in the correct group, yes. Some of these expressions are used in present simple and other ones are used in the present continuous. So you have to write them in the correct place. And here, in this part, you have some exercise, three exercises, yes, three. So, in the first one, you have to complete with the correct form of the verb in brackets, yes? Write the time, the time expression in the correct place, yes? Acá, tenemos las oraciones, tenemos que completar con la forma correcta del verbo entre paréntesis y fíjense que nos dan las time expressions, ¿sí? Tenemos que ubicarlas en el lugar que corresponde, ¿sí? En el segundo ejercicio, you have to complete the conversation, yes, of course, putting in the correct form the, the verbs in brackets, here you have a space, acá en la tabla pueden completar, and in the, first, in the third exercise, you have to write questions, yes? You have to read the, the information that you have here and form questions, yes? Pay attention to the time expressions, please. Presten atención a las expresiones de tiempo para ver cómo se forma cada una. Okay, people, this is a lot, not at all. You are going to do it great. If you have any, any inquiry or doubt, please let me know, yes? So I Of course, you can send me an email, a message, the thing you want, yes? Um, and that is all for today, people. I wish a wonderful, wonderful Easter, yes? Que pasen unas hermosas, unas hermosas eh, Pascuas, que descansen, sí, este fin de semana largo, no se duerman con las cosas que hay pendientes, eh, aprovechemos algunos días para ponernos eh, en ritmo y cuídense, cuídense mucho, ¿sí? Les mando un beso grande. Have a wonderful long weekend, people. See you next week.